And welcome back to another episode here of Bass and Furious TV. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. Um, thank you guys for being subscribers to the channel. Thank you guys for liking the videos, sharing the videos, all that. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Guys, today I want to come to you guys with a pretty short and sweet video. I want to encourage everybody to, of course, reel them in. Okay, guys, remember, set the hook. And then reel the fish in. But also make sure that you reel them in. Uh, flip them or grab them somehow make sure they end up in the boat okay um want to encourage you guys to all do that um and then also i want to just come to you guys with a quick tip today on uh some ways that you guys can save some money when it comes to fishing now i know a lot of people or you may have seen this video before um several different people um maybe have put some stuff out about it guys but it really come in handy for me and i've actually talked to several people who had no clue that this actually existed so um you go fishing you like to throw a texas rig a lot uh, if you guys throw a Texas rig with a little crawl creature bait, you know um, that at some point it's it's made of plastic, right? It's literally made of soft plastic. So it will rip, okay? Especially if you set the hook, you get a fish on, it comes in, it's probably going to rip. Uh, if you set the hook and there's no fish, but you're trying to rip it free, it's probably going to rip. So um, what I want to encourage you guys to do um, is don't throw that bait out, okay? I know sometimes people take all their plastics, melt them, turn them into new stuff. That's cool. That's a great way to do that. But if you really want to keep the bait that you just rip with the, sometimes it's gone too far guys sometimes the bait's too bad it's, it's, it's not gonna work you don't even want to try it but to be honest with you i've seen some pretty bad baits come back to life uh with this so there's a little thing that you can use and i'm actually doing it today with some baits i actually found out another way that you can use it as well too i'm gonna share that with you too but it's a little product out on the market some people t prefer to take like a, a a lighter or do something with a lighter i don't know i haven't looked into that um, this is what works good for me. I, I try to I don't do anything with lighters uh, right now. Maybe I will, and then maybe that does better. But this yeah. is what I use, guys. Right here, it's a little product. It's called Mend It. Now, this is basically it says it right here. Mend It will repair any soft plastic bait. Apply to the damaged bait using the applicator. Press the repair together. Set it on a flat surface, and after a few minutes, it's good as new. Um, it also says use in, with adequate ventilation and to store in a cool, dry place, keep out of reach of children. So make sure that you follow the instructions, guys, but it's called Mend It. And basically this is soft plastic glue for soft plastic. So like I said, you got your favorite creature bait, you've been flipping it around, you've been doing your thing, you've been jacking them on it, but you look in and you see there's a big rip in the middle of the bait. Like there's a big rip down the line in the middle of the bait. So what do you do? You take the bait, you chuck it, and you grab another one out the bag, right? That's fine. Take it, chuck it, grab another one out the bag, go to work, get another one, pull it out the bag, rip it again, grab it, throw it in the bottom of the boat, keep it moving, keep on, because you want to keep getting bites, right? So you want to keep getting bites. So um, I get it. That's what we all do. We all take them, we, we rip it off real quick. We kind of take it off kind of gently, throw it in the bottom of the boat, keep it moving. But what you can do is at the end of the day, collect all your baits that you threw in the bottom of the boat, grab them, sit down like I am at home right now, and pull out your mended. So what do I do with the mend it? You, you guys know where these baits usually rip at. They usually rip in the same place. Usually it's the top of the head. It rips because it has to go through that little keeper guard thing. So right up here at the top. And then usually you get holes all down through this stuff right here. So what do you do? The mend it, it comes with a little uh, applicator thing. It's kind of like you're doing your nails almost. You pull it out, you put the mend it on, and I'll actually do one that I'm actually working on. So I'll show you. I got this bait here. You guys can see the head's ripped a little bit and you can see the holes inside from setting hook on some fish you can see the holes inside so what do you do you take it you take your mend it you put it right in those holes like that you put it right in the head like that if the head will like separate and you can get it in there like really good i typically take the head and i separate it and i put the mend it like all the way in there because guys this will glue your stuff back really really good i mean like like it's like you almost can't tell and basically if you look at it from a standpoint of if you caught one fish on it and you just want to catch another fish on it, you need it just to be good and hold up long enough to catch one more fish. You don't need it to, you're not hoping this fish lasts for, you know, 37 more fish. It only lasted on one the first time, right? So you really just want it to last for like one more fish. So I, I take my mend it. I take a pretty good dosing of it myself, cover it all the way up and mend it, and then you just let it sit. So you give it a few minutes, you just let it sit flat on a little surface, let it sit, and that's it. So I've got two here that I messed up. I'm gonna just put some mend it to it. I got one here that's still really good. So I'm gonna hold on to that one. Now, I just went from having one brand new uh, crawl creature bait to now I have three. One brand new, two 
rejuvenated okay so there are two rejuvenated ones and one brand new one so but also want to encourage you guys there's another way to do it as well so if you guys ever have wanted to um and i'm, I'm not quite sure how it's going to work on this i think you need to have more area or space on the bait but let's say you got a swim bait okay and you want to take that swim bait and you want you're looking for a little bit different of a color so let's say you have this white but you want to add maybe chartreuse you could dye it obviously that's one way to do it but it does work too and i found this out myself because i've tried it if you need to mesh like two colors together so if you split them and then mesh like two colors together i don't know why you would do that um but if you did need to do that you can do that where you mesh two colors together to try to get that perfect blend of a color that you're looking for let's say they're hitting um they're hitting you know i don't know what they may be hitting i don't know when that will come into play guys but that's just an idea that just hit me that actually might work um last but not least i want to share with you guys one more way that this can work for you and that is One more way guys that that can work for you so this is it this is the last way and i'll show you guys here this this is uh, a mag draft guys now this mag draft you can see looks you know pretty decent whatever the case may be it's not terrible i'm gonna show you guys underneath so this is the underneath of that mag draft this thing is crap okay because this thing has gotten eaten by like 37 big bass right this thing is tore up it's been ripped the harness has been ripped out all that so it was pretty much completely falling apart i think the tail had fallen off as well Actually, the tail is still currently falling off. There's a piece of the tail that's missing right now as we speak. So what did I do to save this mag draft that's completely destroyed? I used Mend It. And basically what I did is I sealed it right on back up. And honestly, guys, it is like new. You couldn't even tell. And with the mag draft, as long as the tail's kicking, that's all you really need the mag draft to do is have the tail kicking. So I got a little piece of it that's starting to rip right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dab some Mend It in here. Give that a little bit. I see this little part of the tail is ripped up too. So I'm going to dab some. This is why it's not running straight. It's probably why I'm not getting any bites on it. So that tail has to be on point with this mag draft. It's literally the only thing, two things that have to be on point with the mag draft. Tail has to kick. Has to be good. Tail has to be good. And then when you do the mod, so you do the mod to it, where you where you take the uh, harness out and all that, you got to put... I like to glue glue it back a little bit and then this just makes it to where you know i can chuck it anywhere i want so this even with the bigger swim baits guys this is still soft plastic glue so it will still work even on the bigger swim baits and it holds them together really well you guys got to try it out for yourself i definitely recommend if you do this don't immediately cast it out give it a time to to do its thing and that way it works i'm not even gonna put the hook back in yet i'm literally gonna let it sit on my desk give it a chance to uh, seal up really well. You want to give it a few minutes. So that's why I say at the end of the day, you can do that. Now, if you're down to one last little like sweet beaver, one last little creature bait or whatever the case may be, then yes, take, take your time, glue it, throw something else for like five minutes and then pick that back up and then go back and hit the area that you need to hit with that bait. It can definitely work in the same day. It works really great in the same day. It's literally perfect for the same day. But I'm saying if you got time at the end of the day and you just want to save your baits, you don't want to throw a bunch out. You don't want to have to do another order and hope one of these tackle companies can get it to you in time. I'm going to leave a link below to a tackle company that can get it to you in time. And it's called Sportsman's Warehouse. I'm going to leave a link to that below. Click on that link. Go through, check that out. I'm also leaving another link as well called Grundance. And I'm going to give you guys a discount code in the bottom to save some money on Grundance. If you like flip-flops, uh, jackets, uh, they have a whole bass fishing collection you can check out on Grundance. So I'm going to leave you guys the link for Grundens and be sure to check that out as well. But I wanted to give you guys some tips today to help you out with that. Be sure to check out this product. It is called Mend It. This is not a sponsored video. Mend It's not writing me no check to tell you about that. I'm literally just talking to you guys about a product that I use that has saved me money and time. Because basically I can get the bait that I need. I can glue it back and I can throw it. Um, I don't have to wait for that order to come in. Literally those are the three baits I have left. And I need them for like the next three months. So, and I don't know if I can get an order in the time. I don't even know if they have it in stock. I haven't even checked. So I don't want to risk that. I'm just going to use my mended. I'm going to glue it. I'm going to pitch it back out there. I'm going to make it happen. And I'm going to pitch it out there again. We're going to make it happen. So that's what I'm going to do. But I want to share that with you guys. Hopefully that information helps you. Hopefully that information can save you some money. 
keep you fishing a little bit longer, put a few more bass in the boat. So I appreciate you all tuning in to the channel. Thank you so much, my Bass and Furious friends. This has been another episode of Bass and Furious TV, some hopefully helpful tips. And also too, guys, be sure to follow me on all socials. I got all the links in there to check that out. I'm on TikTok Live every day. I talk about bass fishing. I do all kinds of crazy stuff on there. Um, I do post on Instagram as well. Check out my Instagram, um, Twitter, all that, guys. I'm on all of that. So be sure to check it out. If, you, if you're following me here, connect with me all across the board. I try to create different content for every different platform to the best of my ability. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes I do. Be sure to check it out. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you for uh, joining me here on this journey and fishing. And uh, I'll check you guys out in the next one. I'm out.